this is the gate of Auschwitz when you come in. It says Arbeit macht dich frei in German, which means works makes you free. We came after trains where there was no food, no washrooms, just packed in like sardines. I couldn't understand it. My parents kept me near them, comfortable, as much as they could. And then they took us off the trains and they separated the men from the women and they shaved us. And then they gave me, they heard me with a number, tattooing a number. I, I didn't understand it. I didn't know what it was. The idea that uh, there is such a thing as a gas chamber would never occur to anybody. Even today, people don't believe it. We had to undress and we were under showers. Cold showers lasted maybe 30 seconds. And then we were tattooed. I still have a number, tattooed number. They took us into the shower, my mother, my aunt, and me. And by that time, we knew, my mother knew already, and my aunt that usually when they take you to the shower, they gas you, like they take you to the gas chambers. But this time they opened the door and they let us out and they separated me from my mother and my aunt and they took me to Birkenau. In Birkenau, where the, then they put us into the barracks and of course they did it very quickly. You had to go first and if you didn't, it would be somebody with a dog or with a leash and they would beat you. But we still didn't know what was the, the, cha the gas chambers. I thought these were bakeries because uh, to supply, you know, the huge chimneys and a lot of smoke coming out. There was a, a, a fellow that I knew from Terezin and we were walking and he asked me, what are those chimneys there? Uh, I said, that's where they kill, they burn the people that they kill. And he said, I can't believe it, he couldn't believe it. They put me into a barrack with children and thank God I recognized a couple of a voice and they were a little bit older and they explained me, they helped me a little bit, told me, advised me what to do and what not to do. And uh, I was, I think I was just plain lucky. I had, whenever they made roll calls, thank God they didn't take me out. And the few times that they did take me out, thank God I came back. Because most of the children, when they took them out, for the experiments, they never brought them back. Do you know the death marches? You just went on and on and on, terrible weather. And my brother fell, he was after illness, and my father stayed back to try to get him, get him up to keep going. And the assessors said, get going, get going. And they could not, so they both shot dead. Uh, my mother was too weak, so she was not, uh, so she went to the gas chamber. Well, I was four years old when the war started. I didn't go to school at all. I never played with any children. I was mostly with adults or working or being hidden. <laughs> 